depth charts and playbooks will be put to the test. It's the Washington Commanders and the Miami Dolphins. All that and more coming up next on EA Sports. Just about eight miles inland from the warm waters of the Atlantic, we are inside Hot Rod Stadium here in Miami. Good to be in the booth with my partner Greg Olson. I'm Mike Tirico. Welcome, and Greg, this is one of those that's worthy of prize because wide receivers help the spotlight as much as any position group in the league. And we've got two guys who's shining under the lights here tonight. And I think where it's going to be really fun and get interesting to watch, Mike, is in those critical situations, the games on the line, third down, red zone, got to have it moments. There is no mystery. Both these sidelines, they know exactly where the ball's going, and they're just going to say, I dare you to stop them. These are two prime, elite wide receivers in the National Football League. Night game, prime time. They're looking to put on a show. One in the books. Who's going to stand out here? Very important week for some. Week two of the preseason. And we're off on EA Sports. Now an opening past the 30. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The commanders come out with the man they hope leads them into their new era. Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick in this past draft from LSU. Greg, this is the man who won the Heisman Trophy with the Tigers in Baton Rouge a year ago. Here we have a guy, Mike, who's probably one of the most dynamic athletes that we have in the entire NFL at the quarterback position. He can create so many problems for a defense with his legs, but make no mistake about it. He is far from one-dimensional. He's both willing and able to carve a defense up with his arm while using his legs as more of a secondary weapon. If there's one knock in his game at this very moment, it's the fact that occasionally he'll kind of lay one up from time to time. Nonetheless, if he's on his A game in this one, we could be in for a real treat. They'll work now on second and four. From the shotgun, it's Daniel. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Well defended there. And the quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend. So give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. Third and short, and it's Daniel. He'll try and get there on the ground. 22 yards, the pick up there. Good for a commander's first down. You know this defense worked all week defending this quarterback as a scrambler, as a runner. But sometimes it's just hard to simulate until you see him in real life, his speed, his ability to create. We saw him get him here early on a big scramble. He's able to pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. Working out of the gun, it's Daniel. He finds Jahan Dotson. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. A nice throw by the rookie from LSU. He's got his team a first down. Here's first and 10. it away quickly and it's caught they'll come up here on second down and five operating from the gun it's Daniel that's over the middle Intercepted. Picked off by Peter Kohu. And the Dolphins are going to get it back here. Just shot of the 20. When you find yourself in this situation, you're on defense. You're defending your own goal line. you got to take some chances. You've got to try to force a turnover and make a play and get off the field. That's exactly what this defender did. Takes a chance, bets on himself, and comes away with a pick to save them some points. 
The Dolphins come out on offense and the lefty, Tua Tagovailoa. He led the NFL a year ago in passing yardage. Hard to believe this is season five already from Alabama. Greg Tua, 26 years old, and his time is now. One of the few southpaws we have playing quarterback in the NFL, Mike, and while he doesn't have one of the strongest arms, he makes up for it with great anticipation and pinpoint accuracy. So what it does, it allows him to throw very catchable balls. A lot of his receivers do a lot of the damage after the catch, and only time's going to tell how this one plays out. But when he's on his game, they're due for a lot of points. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Jalen Waddell, the intended target, and it'll lead to a second down. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast, and tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know, hey, all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. And even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. The drag route is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the quarterback and give him an easy completion. The size and the athleticism allows them to try to pick up more yards but do it after the catch. In motion comes Beckham. They're trying to run it here with Mostert. And he's going to be close to that first down. Looks like he made it past the yellow line. Yes, he did. It is indeed a first down. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this is third and short. Just get the ball to your running back. Make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down. And they're able to convert. A play fit. Now, two and a throw. He bought all the time he could, but he's going to be taken down as he couldn't get a throw away. In the midst of a tight game like that, you're looking for every play that you can make to try to gain advantage. And if you can continue to get after the quarterback, disrupt the rhythm and timing of this quarterback, in the second half, that could be the difference of you being able to pull away. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. A shotgun snap for two. That's caught by Smith on the right side. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. The drag route. We used to say this is day one install. Every single offense in the NFL has this sort of route, especially for the tight end position. And depending on the speed and the run after catch ability of the tight end, Sometimes it can lead to some of the biggest gains. Throwing on third down, Tungo Valoa. He's got his man, it's Hill. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Two and a Tyreek for the Dolphins first. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. Get back to our conversation with this coaching staff. Like they identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often, so that might be his first target. I don't think it's going to be his last. In motion, it's Waddle. Now the second-year man, Devon HF. And a good run there. And again, him five yards. gun here's Tua that's made there that's Smith and they bring him down but not until they get inside the 30 yard line following the completion we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player you hope against hope here in the preseason especially that it's not too serious So they come to the line for first down and 10. They'll fake the handoff. Now, Tua. He finds his tight end. That's Smythe. 
Gonna try to use that size to push forward, but it's not gonna work. Defense strong up front. And they're gonna get him down behind the line of scrimmage. This is a guy that we're used to seeing make a lot of his plays in the back end. Mike kind of patrolling that center field safety position, but this time he recognized that play up at the line of scrimmage and he blows it up for a loss. Out of the gun, Tungo Veloa. Throw on the run is complete. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. To the air again, Tungo Bailoa. That is going to be... Oh, in, he's got it! Tano Smith, touchdown Dolphins! on for the point after. The kick is good. And the Dolphins will take a 7-0 lead. is our score as this kick is sent into the air. This will be returned from the six. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The commander's offense ready to get going with their second possession. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. throw with Daniel. That's caught by Edward. <laughs> On second down, it's Daniel. That one is brought in by Terry McClure. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. 14 yards on that pass play there. First down, Washington. These crossing concepts are frequently used, Mike, throughout the entire game all across the league. And what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs. You run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch. And it's exactly how they're able to pick up this big game. They'll come up here first and 10. Here's Daniel. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. He can't fault the quarterback on this one. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him. And he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. Here's the first carry for the now superstar from Western State, Austin Edwards. Third and five. From the shotgun on third down, Daniel. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. 
Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man beater. That's when teams want to just play you one on one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, as we saw here, it's a lot more simple. Understand the concept of the play, understand where the holes in the defense are, and get there and be friendly to the quarterback. And if you're open, stay open. That's NFL route running. That's what the best guys do. So they go backwards on first down. Here's second and 13. From the gun, it's a give to Eckler. Riding off defenders here. He'll turn it forward and pick up three. Here's a third and ten. They'll go play action here with Daniel. Pressure gets there. And down he goes. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sit and duck for this pass rush. So the drive will end there, and on comes Tress Play to punt on fourth down. Out to return for the Dolphins, it's Braxton Berrios. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. The Dolphins offense, ready to see what they can do on their second possession. They lead 7-0 thanks to the touchdown on the opening drive. So, try to double up here as they begin this drive first and 10. start this drop. He'll get about two. Jonathan Allen, the big man from the interior, with the stop. Look him up on a second down and eight. Wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion, and then really it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play. That's the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. In the book, it's the Dolphins with the early lead. And we're back to South Florida after this. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. In motion comes Beckham. He's trying to get around the corner, but can't. Going to be run down behind the line. A completion, yes. A loss of yardage, yes as well. Loss of yardage brings up second and 11 at the commander's 20-yard line. Second and 11. Motion man set right. On play action, it's Tungo Valoa. To the left side, in the hands of Hill. And 
and he will not get away. Terrific open field tackle. Gets him down behind the line. It almost seemed like the defender was getting the play call sent into his helmet, just like the quarterback, because he knew the play before they even snapped the ball, and that play had no shot. Again, it's two. And on third down, that ball incomplete. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out front. So on fourth down, the Dolphins turn to Jason Sanders for the field goal try. This one is good. He knocks it through. And the Dolphins will extend to a 10-0 lead. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. Sanders back out after making the field goal. He sends this one away. On the return, it's Chris Rodriguez. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. Here comes the Washington offense now. They get set to take over. And nothing doing from the offense just yet. Down 10 up. As they come up with first and 10. throw is Daniel throwing it right into the hands of his running back after the catch he gets that forward for a gain of nine second and a yard play action here's Daniels He'll let this go deep for the end zone. That ball incomplete. Got the hands in there to break it up. Would have been a big gainer. Instead, it sets up a third down. He's trying to set the tone here for the rest of the game and let this defense know there is not a blade of grass on this field that you don't have to defend because he reared back and he let that one eat. And He's got to work a little bit on his touch. Oh, and the rookie puts it on the deck. It's a fumble. So even though they avoid the turnover, this is still a play that they're going to coach hard off of. They're going to bring guys into the meeting room next week and say, hey, guys, we're not always going to be so fortunate. The ball is not always going to bounce our way. Anybody who handles the ball from the center to the quarterback to any of the ball carriers, the most important aspect of team offense is protecting the ball at all costs. Here's Tress Way now. And he'll be looking for something better after that poor first punt. Oh, hello! He is stopped in his tracks on that one. They made sure that return was not going any farther. Out comes Miami and the offense to get started on their next drive. They've got the 10-0 advantage here early. We'll see if they can add to it. Beginning on this drop, first and 10. Here's Tungo Bailoa. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down standards for offensive players but in this case Mike I think I'm giving all the credit to the defender he timed that one up perfectly and what could have been an easy play ends up as an incomplete in motion comes Beckham Tua gives it to Moster it'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage no gain on the play 
the big guys in the middle of the defense, Mike, the defensive tackles. So often they're asked to do the dirty work. Keep the blockers off the linebackers. Let them run around and make all the plays. But in this case, this guy's able to shed his blocker, make the stop, and keep it to no gain. Man in motion, heading left. Fake the handoff. Now, two. He'll try to run for it. A gain there of 23 yards. First down, Miami. And this is when it just gets very frustrating as a defense. Because this is what it's been like all day. The pass rush is good, but just not quite good enough. They let it slip through, and he burns them with big yards. break the huddle coming up now for first and ten here's a handoff to Moster, and nothing cooking on that one he'll be met and tackled behind the line of scrimmage every team makes an emphasis on winning first down but as a defense when you're able to take them back for a loss second and long you can really become more of a pass centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And they'll stop it. At least it's an improvement over the last play. They're not losing yards, but they didn't gain any here. And now it's going to be third down. All the qualities that make a good safety are seen on display on this play. Speed, pursuit, and then the intensity and the strength at the point of contact for the tackle to keep this ball carrier to no gain. That is a complete safety play. Quickly out wide, it's OBJ. Looking for room out on the edge. He's not going to find it. As a matter of fact, I think they tracked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense, and it's fourth down. I think it's safe to assume that is not how they envisioned that third down play call going. And now after going backwards, it's going to bring up fourth down. Now, fair catch is made, and it's just inside the 15-yard line. The commander's offense headed back to take over once more. The deficit is at 10, so an important drive forthcoming. It started with first and 10. Throwing now, Daniel. Under pressure, and down he goes. They got him. Really nice start for this defense here early through the first quarter. Two different players, each recording a sack. Offensive line is going to have to get together on the sideline with their coach and identify where's the weakness in our protection. How can we get extra bodies and extra attention? Because we still got a long way to go in this one. Throwing on second down, Daniel. There's to the right side, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Terry McLaurin, the intended target on that one. And it's going to bring up third down. The biggest issue and why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the ups and downs of this passing game. And sometimes he's highly accurate and efficient. But at others, he just misses too many easy throws. The question is, are they going to be able to overcome this quarterback inconsistency and pull this game out? He's going to be brought down very close to that line to gain. They're going to mark him just a bit short. And now it's fourth down. You can see here, Mike, the impact that sending your receivers deep does to the defense. You add so many layers, and the defense has to get so much depth in their pass coverage. It leaves a lot of room underneath, and that's exactly what the quarterback takes advantage, tucks the ball down, turns into a runner, picks up the first down. A fair catch here. Called for and made beyond the 30-yard line. The Dolphins offense race, what they can do with this next possession. Their lead is 10. They go back to work, try to add to it. It begins with first down.
In motion, it's Waddle. They'll start on the ground with Moster. He is met and dropped. Good defense. Loss of a couple on that play. Brings up second and 12 at the 31 yard line. Here's a second and 12. A shotgun snap for two. To the left side, OBJ is there. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. That's his third catch of this first half, and good enough for a first down. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker. Be friendly to the quarterback. And then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. That's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Here's Tunga Bailoa. He's going to look deep for Tyree. That one broken up. It's incomplete. All over him down the field. It'll set up third down. I know it fell for an incompletion, but pretty impressive. He was able to push that ball really far downfield as he was being hit. Really says a lot about the arm strength that this quarterback has. Throwing on third down. Tungo Bailoa. He'll find Mostert out of the backfield. And he's going to be taken down short of the marker. And that is going to set up an interesting fourth down decision. I think this is one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks. And now they got a fourth down decision to make. And we will not have a return here. This one angled out of bounds. The commander's offense back onto the field for their next possession. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Daniel. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And he's going to be taken down at the 37. They get 11, and quickly pick up the first down. Now, this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays, and... These drag routes can be very, very effective. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Operating from the gun, it's Daniel. That's to the right side. And you complete. You know, it's hard to speculate, Mike. We sit up here and we try to just interpret and assume what's going on in the minds of the players and the minds of the coaches. But they seem to me to be a little bit rattled. All these negative plays have really started to pile up in the first half. He's got to settle down, have some more efficiency on these early downs, and get his offense into some sort of rhythm. He gets close to the yellow line, tackle made at the 46. Seemed like the receiver might ran through like five different open zones, but once he found the one that he liked, where the quarterback was expecting him, you see him do a nice job throttling down, secures the catch, and he's able to pick up a nice game. Third and short, and it's Daniel. And that is incomplete. John Dotson was the intended receiver there. And it's going to be fourth down. Timing and trust. Critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. The Dolphins offense getting their final instruction before heading back onto the field. 
They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. It's Tua. Looks to the outside. He's got Smith. He had their lone touchdown of the game earlier, and he comes through with the catch and a first down in this spot. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch. I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. From the gun, here's two. A throw over the middle, it's O'Dell. Now the Dolphins going to use the first of their timeouts. Clock stop, 50 seconds to play until halftime. First in 10. To the air again, Tungo Bailo. He'll go back to Odell, they connect again. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. And he finds Tyreek. And they'll pick up the first down, a gain of about four. for him on this drive. This one, good for 16 yards. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Jason Sanders on to try the field goal. This one from 43 yards away. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Dolphins will open up a 13 to nothing lead. All right, Mike, thanks very much. Back to you and Greg in just a moment. Want to remind everyone, this is week two of the preseason. These two teams will have one more tune-up after this next week before the regular season gets started on the Thursday following Labor Day. It was a strong first half from the lefty to a tongue of Iowa. He's got a touchdown pass on the ledger as his guys were able to build a double digit lead. These two teams making their way back out of their locker room. So that means we're just about set for the second half. And to bring it your way, we go back out to Mike and Gray. All right, coach, second half, drawing near. Glad to have you back with us here on EA Sports. Pretty interesting first half. We'll see if any strategy changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half gets underway. And a decent return there. We'll get this up just shy of the 30. Another great throw, and that's been the story as you check out these numbers. I mean, he has done everything this team has asked of him and more. set to 
go now on first and ten. Hill brought in motion. Now first down throw for Tua. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. He's usually such a reliable target in the passing game, Mike. We just don't see him struggle to come down with catches like that all too often. And when you're one of the go-to guys on your team, I know the hit's coming, but guess what? It feels a lot better after you take that hit after a catch than it does after a drop. In motion comes Beckham. Tua now on third down. Taking off, he'll try to get there. Great reaction by the defense. At first, Mike, it looked like there was enough room out there for the quarterback to pick this one up himself. But they were able to rally to the ball. And I think the officials are going to mark him just short. Punt team headed out for the Dolphins. As he'll come on to punt this one away. And a fair catch is taken. It is just inside the 20-yard line. The commander's offense trotting back out for their first involvement of this second half. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Daniel. The throw here is complete. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. Here's a design run. That'll be a game of two and a first down. Sometimes, Mike, the best plan is also the simplest plan. And for this team, just snap the ball to your quarterback, let him find some daylight, and go get that first down himself. On the handoff, this is Eckwood. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. Second and seven. Here's Daniel. Quick throw taken in. And they bring him down, but not until he gets the 45-yard line. A pickup of 12 yards. First down, Washington. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea that the pressure gets there and down he goes? A second. Sometimes, Mike, your greatest strength can also be a little bit of your weakness. In this case, he is so used to being able to buy more time with his feet, extend the play, give his targets more time downfield to uncover. In this case, nothing materializes, tried to do too much, and as a result, takes a big loss.
What can they do here? This is third and forever. From the shotgun, on third down, Daniels. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. Fourth down. It seemed to me, Mike, before that ball was even snapped, the quarterback had already made up his mind. I'm throwing the ball to the tight end, no matter what the look is. And he's counting on the big body, picking up the rest after the catch. And even though he's able to secure the ball, nice job by the defense keeping him short of the sticks. Here's Berrios on the return. Oh, how about that hit? Wow. He took a pretty good lick at the end of that one. The Dolphins offense getting set to get back to work. They built a nice lead for themselves here. They'll try to add to that, beginning with first down. Out of the gun, Tungo Bailoa. He's going to air this one out, looking for Hill. He's got it! And he's going to take this one all the way! 72 yards! Touchdown, Miami! Well, that is a quick drive and the best way to finish it. The touchdown pass downfield. Greg, you rarely see a deep shot like that to start a drop. You're right, Mike. We don't see it a lot, but I wish we did. It's actually the most efficient and safest down to pass the ball. And in this case, the defense is thinking run. We've got a lot of defenders up in the box, and they're able to strike deep with a pass play for six. Now, here's the Dolphins and Tua going for two. The Dolphins are lining up for a He'll drop to throw. And he'll get into the end zone. Doing it on his own. Successful two-point conversion. There was no hesitation from this offense. Immediately after they scored that touchdown, the entire sideline was holding up two fingers. They knew exactly what play they wanted. They felt great about it coming into the game. And clearly the right choice. After the touchdown, Myers is back to put this one away. This will be taken in at the two. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The visitors' offense makes their way back out to the field for their next possession. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here, and everything starts with the rush. The quarterback's uncomfortable. The clock gets sped up. He's got guys in his face. It's a lot easier to play defensive back and in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast. And right now, they're teeing off and taking advantage of it. Now Daniel throwing on first and 10. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him, because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end. On second down, it's Daniel. A throw left side, caught by Sinek. Get about six before he's taken down. So the hope is, when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the backside of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on him early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. That's taken in by Dotson. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. 
Good conversion on third down. This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, these types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless reps, oftentimes when nobody's even watching. That's going to wind up incomplete, but a penalty flag is down on the play. Let's see what that's all about. Still first down. Throwing again. Daniel. That one. Oh, it's on target, but it goes as an incompletion. Looks like he had that one in his grasp, but unable to hold on, and it will be second down. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. He's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. They're trying to use that size to push forward, but it's not going to work. Defense strong up front. They're going to get him down behind the line strip. Linebacker certainly wasn't fooled on that play. Not only does he get there in a hurry, but he's able to secure that tackle and bring him down for a loss. Third and long. Keep it in the air. Here's Daniels. Now pass deep for McClory. That one is batted away. Incomplete. No separation that time. Tightly defended. It brings up fourth down. This has really just been the story of the entire game. They just seem out of sync, don't they? I mean, they desperately need to find a way to just get some points on the scoreboard. Any way it takes. No complete on the deep pass there, but keep shooting for it because at some point something's going to break your way and they desperately need it. And he's going to be knocked down before he can even think about returning that one. Whoa! So now, out comes the offense, led by their quarterback as they take over once again. And he has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. We've got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long. They'll go to work. First and ten. In motion, it's Waddle. Fake the handoff. Now, Tua. Sending it deep for Waddle. And this one is pulled in. What a grab. It's a big play there for Miami. It covers 51 yards. Continues to play at this level, Mike. It just makes this team so hard to beat. It's the combination of leading both long, sustained drives and being able to strike in bunches, generate big, explosive plays, primarily through the air. It puts so much pressure on these defenses, and with the way today's game has gone, it doesn't look like he has any plans on slowing down. First and ten. Here's Tua. Catch made there. That's Smith. Now they are in business. Inside the 15-yard line. Pickup of 11 yards on that one. First down, Miami. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. They continue to get chunk plays like this. This thing could get out of reach fast. I know this play results in an incomplete pass, but I think this is a really good job by the quarterback. His clock was going off. He felt that rush. He had no immediate target to go to with the ball. Instead, throw it away. Don't take the sack. Live for another day. In motion, it's Waddle. On play action, it's Tunko Valoa. Nowhere to go. He is taken down. 
The defensive coaches, they preached all week, Mike. They have to have relentless pursuit of this quarterback when he tries to extend the play. So often it results in a great play for the offense and a big pickup. This time, because of that pursuit, it leads to a big loss. Third and long. In motion, it's Waddle. The play clock down to zero. And this, not the best of sequences. Still third down. Here's Tua. And that is incomplete. I'd say one of the most critical elements of a dynamic offense, Mike, is how efficient are you on third down? It's something these teams stress all week. Here's an opportunity to continue to extend this drive. The defense wins this time and brings up fourth down. Three for three in the game as this one is also good. And the Dolphins extend the lead to 24 to nothing. I think at this point in the game, Mike, when you have things under control, not only were they able to hold on to the ball for a while, they still were able to manage to add three points. So Sanders back out after making the field goal. He sends this one away. This taken at the five. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The visitors' offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They're in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and ten. The drive starts with a carry by Eckler. He makes one man miss, but stops quickly as they hold him to a gain of one. Here's second and nine. They give it to Eckler on the option. He'll move this one ahead to the 31-yard line. Play is made on defense by Jordan Brooks. Here's third and seven. Operating from the gun, it's Daniel. Thrown left side, the catch is made. A game there of 11. Good for a commander's first down. Every quarterback's dream is, can I get the ball out of my hand as fast as possible and get it to a guy that can do the rest after the catch? And it seems like nowadays throughout the entire league, the best offenses thrive in yards after the catch. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Now 
Yet another Alabama back in the lead. This is Brian Robinson. And he's going to lose yardage here. That's the way they'll switch ends as this third quarter has come to an end. So we are through three. EA Sports back for more from the NFL preseason after this. It's a gain of 12 there. First down, Washington. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. Off he goes. Well, let's give credit here to the coverage unit, Mike. There was nowhere to go with the ball for that quarterback. He had no choice but to just tuck it down himself, and he's able only to pick up a short game. Daniels to throw on And they're going to get to him and take him down. Take him back to the other side of the field. This is what you don't want to see out of your quarterback. As that pocket starts to collapse, the good ones, they can keep their eyes downfield and feel the rush. They don't need to see the rush. Here, his eyes go down. He starts moving around the pocket. Nowhere to go with the ball, and they bring him down for a sack. just got a first-hand taste of just how fast this pressure can get on you and sometimes when it speeds up that clock you can make a bad throw In motion comes Beckham. Using the jet sweep for the fake, they run it up the middle. A modest game. Maybe two yards. It's second down. again it's Moster. only a couple on that one it'll set up third down Team comes out, Dolphins gonna kick it away. 
He's on to punt it for the fourth time tonight. Crowder to return. Oh, no, no. He is stopped in his tracks on that one. They made sure that return was not going any farther. The visitors' offense ready to get back at it. Things not looking good. But see if they get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. From the shotgun, it's Daniel. He's going to tuck it and go. And he'll gain yardage and able to get down at the end of the play. Well, give him some credit. Initially, that looked like it was going to be a sack. He's able to escape the pressure and get away. Picks up a little bit of yardage, but at least he avoids taking that shot. Throwing on second down, Daniel. The open receiver is Dotson. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than being able to pick up a first down without being forced to push the ball downfield and force it past the line to gain. He settles for the underneath check down. He's confident that his receiver is going to pick up the rest after the catch. Looking middle of the field, it's complete. As a route runner, once you identify zone coverage like they were playing here, the key is find open space and stay in it. He did a nice job here because that was not a big hole. The quarterback had to put a little extra on that one, and they were able to make the completion. Working out of the gun, it's Daniel. Quick throw here is complete. And he'll be hauled down at about the 35-yard line. 15 yards through the air. First down, Washington. These can be tricky situations defensively, right? The game is all but over. Barring something unforeseen, you got this one in the bag. But you still want to finish on a high note. You still want to walk off the field and put an exclamation point on what's pretty much been a dominant performance right from the start. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. It's always a risky decision anytime a quarterback tries to force the ball, especially into those tightly contested areas. Not a lot of daylight, not a lot of room for error. In this case, it just falls simply as an incomplete. But as this game unfolds, better decisions are going to lead to better results. Nice work after the catch. He stopped a little short of the first down marker, but it is a pickup of nine. There's a lot of ways to get the ball in the hands of your running backs, and it's not always by just handing it to them. In this case, it's a simple check down, picks up a good game, brings up third down. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. They'll try and run for the first with Eckler. Trying to get to the edge, and he will not get there. As a matter of fact, he was taken down behind the line. And that brings up fourth down. It just feels like this has been the story of the day for this offense. Just unable to get anything going on the ground. And a big reason they find themselves trailing and another loss of yards. The field goal unit on the sideline. They'll line up to go for it on fourth down. They'll run for it with Eckler. And he's going to have a commander's first down. He gets more than he needs. Four yards picked up on fourth and two. I know it's fourth and short, Mike, but at this distance, you actually have to clear a lane. You can't just fall forward or push the pile. So that conversion, it's as much of a credit to the blocking as it is to the running back seeing the hole and hitting it. They'll go play action here with Daniel. He's got it at the seven. And he will get into the end zone. Zach Ertz. Touchdown, Washington. Touchdown here in the fourth quarter, Greg. They have a big mountain to climb, but at least they're technically still alive in this one. And now, Mike, we're going to see him line up to go for two. They're going to see if they can get this lead down to 16 points and still give them a chance to fight back here late in the fourth quarter.
Now, a two-point conversion attempt coming. The Packers will line up for the two-point conversion. To throw is Daniels. And that is incomplete. Two-point conversion attempt winds up being unsuccessful. After that incomplete pass, we have a player shaken up. You hope against hope here in the preseason, especially that it's not too serious. We're down three scores, and it's late. They're going to need a few bounces to go their way. They'll start right here, trying to get an onside kick. You have no choice. You find yourself down big here late in the fourth quarter, Mike. You got nothing to lose. Give it a shot. Nice job here by the hands team recovering. They're going to take over possession. And you think back to the first half, Mike, just how well he threw the ball. And you thought maybe this defense would come up with some answers in the second half to slow him down. But so far, that has proven to not be the case. Here's first and ten. Now give to Mostert, heading right. Not much there, maybe a yard. Tua, gonna give it to HN. He's gonna be taken down at about the 30. A gain of 11 on that one. Good for a Dolphins first down. Here's a case of an offense just piling on. You're really imposing your will on the defense. Everyone in the stadium knows you're gonna run it. The defense knows it, you know it. And no matter what they do, they have no answers whatsoever. Hill brought in motion. No run out of the gun. This is Moster. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. So, two minutes to play here in the second half. We'll come back and finish this one off after this. Second down. Poster. Now they are in business. Inside the 15 yard line. A pickup of 14 on that one. Good for a Dolphins first down. So when you're evaluating the impact of a team's run game, like I think it's important at the end of the game to look back and say, okay, how many yards did they run for? But more importantly, when did those yards come? Did I run for those yards in the fourth quarter, which typically means I had the lead? That's the sign of a successful run game as opposed to getting a lot of meaningless yards early in the game. Here's second and three to go. gives it to Mostert. And this is going to be a touchdown. They are going to extend the lead here in the final minute of play. Taking care of business on the ground to get the score. And Greg, the big guys up front, they deserve some praise on that one. Absolutely, Mike. And it really only takes one guy to distort the defense and win his block. But in this case, give credit to the entire unit. They did their job and they reward their offense with a touchdown. Now Sanders on for the extra point. He's got it. And the Dolphins will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter.
So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. Rodriguez on the return. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. The visitors' offense ready to take over once again. They'll begin with first and ten. situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think like they know this offense has to be one dimensional this has to be a pass so what do they do they bring in extra defensive backs they clog up the back end and at the end of the day there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball there's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm right i think this is one of those situations here mike where there was nowhere to go with the ball he tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. From the shotgun on third down, Daniel. He finds the veteran Ertz. The commanders will signal for the first of their timeouts. They stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Daniels going to throw again. Short pass taken in by the tight end. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. second and four. So the air again is Daniel. That'll be incomplete. And now we are down to likely just one more play. Just seems like another case of predetermining where the quarterback is going to go with the ball. He had a lot of good route options on that last concept. I think if he just remains a little bit more patient, read the play out, let it unfold will lead to some easier and better completions. And the final throw of the game winds up incomplete. That wouldn't do it. This one comes to an end. So a win here for the Dolphins. As we move closer to the regular season, they'll wrap up the preseason with the finale next week before we get it going for real come September. So that'll do it for us, for Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. The Dolphins, home winners here as we say farewell from South Florida.